Internet, Hewlett here with another Burn and Learn. And yes, forgive me, Internet. It has been three days since my last Burn and Learn. How bad is that? Um, it was just, it was the weekend. It was Friday. It was supposed to be the day off for me anyways because I exercised on Thursday. So I should have exercised Saturday, but I didn't because, well, it was Saturday and there were Saturday cartoons and we were hanging out and Bratlett and I and Jane played you know, uh, unstable unicorns and played magic. I was just, there was too many fun things to do. And I felt I didn't want to take an hour out of my time with Bratlett um, to, uh, to exercise. So I didn't, but uh, obviously I feel bad about it. Um, so I'm back. I did a full 60 grueling minutes. It was miserable. So I paid for it. Um, and I should say, this is a burn and learn. This is my bid to stay alive and fit long enough to raise my amazing son and to enjoy the coming twilight years with my brilliant, beautiful wife, Jane. I hate exercise. I would rather clean toilets than exercise. I hate it so much. So I'd like to learn something while I'm doing it. I'd like to share what I've learned with you the sweatiest way possible, miserable, complaining way. Um, and the advantage to this whole thing is that it guilts me into doing it, as you can tell, because I just spent the whole first part of this, you know, basically feeling guilty. So thank you for that. Um, I'm cowering in the basement today because Jane has a bunch of her producing uh, people over. It seems I'm okay to share my sweaty miserableness on the internet, but but not in person. It's just different somehow. It's that extra, it's that extra level of grossness if it's, if it's live. Um, so today I was supposed to be working with the Steam Sisters. I'm not because there's a 3D file they are hoping for so we can start doing some 3D printing. So we're gonna have to push that again. Um, I'm really looking forward to working with them. I'm so flattered that they, they actually asked me to help them with their video stuff. So um, I'm, I've been kind of looking forward to it for a while. So I'll admit to being a little disappointed that, that I, I that we, we can't work together today, but um, you are gonna love these ladies. They are, they're just funny and smart and curious and all the science stuff. It's just, it's, it's yeah, they're really, and they've got their own little thing going and I'm, and I'm just very, very excited to be a part of it. And, Tiny little way. Um, so um, uh, the learn part of my burn today, the burn and learn, the learn part of my burn and learn, which is the part that I like the most, uh, was about Arduino. So I've done a bunch of these Fusion 360 things to sort of learn how to design things. Um, I now want to know how to control them. So while I have used Arduino before, I thought it'd be nice to have a full background on it. So I started the first course a little too basic for me. So I've skipped to the second one, which is all about the hardware interface. And even that some of it, well, much of it I've done before, but I, it's nice to get the full background. Like the one thing this woman does who, um, who does the course is a LinkedIn learning course on Arduino. Um, she does a great background on the hardware as well as how the hardware and the software tie together. So that's kind of cool. Uh, I've been plowing through that. And um, as I say, plowing through it and enjoying it to such an extent that I actually did my 60 minutes again, even though I arrived on the elliptical today uh, feeling kind of miserable and just like, I don't think I can really do this. I don't, I'm not feeling well. Maybe I'll just do like a little one today, but nope, 60 minutes. Um, and uh, so I've got the kids play tonight. The kids first, well, not first play. He's done plays before, but... Um, Apparently he has like a like a real role in it, um, and he was he was debating some of his lines this morning. Apparently they don't actually have lines; they they sort of improv it every time, and and that made me very nervous. <laughs> it's not how I do it, um, so I, I you know I'm a little nervous about the state of theater in um, in, in my son's school right now. We'll see how it turns out tonight. Um, uh, but he promises me it's only an hour, so I shouldn't I should be okay. Um, I'm also going to be playing with uh, robots today. I've got a robotic. Well, this is this. Is, I just started throwing these together in the same way that one throws together um, Lego. Really, I just clipped these together. I already figured out how to how to make it work. But the idea is, the kids were talking about how do we create or could they create an arm that could feed someone breakfast who couldn't who couldn't use their hands. Um, so I thought I would sort of get ahead of the curve on that. Start playing with. Um, using our easy robot stuff. So that's the same same system that runs all of these. Um, and uh, and sort of program that up so that when it comes to the kids doing it, I can sort of subtly guide them. You know, maybe try not doing that um, kind of thing. So I try really hard just to let them do their thing because often things come up in the Tech Bandits, this club that I do, um, that I hadn't thought of um, often. In fact, almost every time, there's things that I hadn't thought of. One of the ones that came up recently was this whole idea of like, of a, of a VR system to teach people with disabilities, kids with disabilities, how they could, you know, how they could interact with the world and stuff. So without, you know, but in a low kind of stress way. Um, so a little bit of that today, a little bit of programming today, a little bit of Arduino today. 
Um, and I really should get some gaming going because Bradlett and I wanted to stream both days this weekend, but we, we couldn't. We could only stream on, on Saturday. And uh, he's a little concerned about us keeping enough content going. And I thought, well, what a great opportunity to do a little bit of Magic the Gathering and, and interact with people sort of a little bit more uh, directly um, instead of focusing on just having a great time with my son, which is what we normally do, and with Cal and with Jack. Um, so enjoying that. The Twitch stuff is just fantastic. In fact, if you want to, go check it out because it's um, uh, we are Iron Ham TV on, on Twitch. Um, and uh, so, yeah, that's it. That's pretty basically, it's, that's pretty, in a nutshell, what's happened. Um, anything exciting? A few things. We watched The Missing Link this weekend, which I absolutely adored. Just a beautiful little film. Same people who did Kubo and the Six Strings or whatever it is. Um, uh, but just another gorgeous stop motion film. I just don't know how they do it. We watched some of the making of, and even then I was like, I just can't get over the scope of the work involved in this. So um, the thing I like about this company, this uh, Leica, 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 I don't know how you say it, but it's, you know, this company that makes these films um, is that they use robotics as well. They're not afraid to use like VFX and CG as well as the stop motion. I feel like it's not, they're not being, um, you know, they're not, they're not being Luddites with this stuff. They're doing stop motion, but they're also incorporating all the technologies that are available as well. So I just, I, I just, I love and respect the company very much. And this film, Missing Link, was just a lovely surprise because I hadn't really heard of it before. And then apparently it won like a, a Golden Globe or something like that. And uh, I can see why, because it's just, it's just absolutely stunning. So definitely check that out. So until we geek again, sweaty or not, here I come, or should I say, here I go. <laughs>